Hey guys, it's Canadian Queen 76 and I'm coming to you with a review of X Factor USA top four performances and elimination results. I really like watching X Factor. Um, now that the children are out, it's it's less dramatic, but still you still want to know who wins. And I'm not saying that um, the adults don't have their share of emotions, but you can handle you can kind of handle their rejection in this show. Um, we have Marcus, Melanie, Chris, and Josh left. And my favorites have always been Rachel, Melanie, and Chris. Now I just have to root for Melanie and Chris. And the reason why I like Melanie is it's because her voice is always crystal. It's just a crystal clean, she gets clean performances. And I'm pretty sure she can find a sound that's just for Melanie once this show is over. But she has that sound doing these covers. And she would sound awesome, you know, selling records, making her own songs. And so I know that it will be something I would want to buy and I would want to purchase. Chris. I think he's very creative. He has this unique sound about him that he's able to showcase because not only does he do covers, but he has to put his creative spin on it because he's not the singer. He he throws a little rap in there. He throws a little uh, whatever Chris Renee does. And I wasn't, I didn't like just Chris because of his background story. And I didn't even find out his background story until a little bit later because I think either I fell asleep on that episode or what have you. But Everybody has been having fits that Chris Renee is in the finals because they think that his background story about him being on drugs and that he'll have a relapse. I'm like, come on, guys. You can have a relapse no matter what. His, his addiction to drugs has nothing to do with his success. It's his addiction to drugs. So I think he's motivated right now. He's got a lot to do. He's got a lot of supportive people around him. And hopefully he's able to keep those people around him as he gets through, goes through the successful comp you know, competition, um, his success after the show, because this show is only a platform for all of these artists. So it can only be one winner. Everybody else are going to be losers. Simple as that. Now, in the show, they had to do two performances, a regular performance and a Pepsi Challenge performance, which initially was supposed to have been done last week, but they tabled it to this week. And... Up uh, is uh, Marcus did Careless Whisper, and he also for the Pe Pepsi Challenge. I don't know what he did for the Pepsi Challenge, but I couldn't find it. I can't remember. But Marcus sang, and you know Marcus is a soulful person. He's like reminiscent of R&B, R&B soul. And I believe Marcus will have a successful career. Um, Melanie did Feeling Good and Hero by Mariah Carey, and those were very clean performances. I have no complaints. Melanie does a really good job. Josh did Hallelujah and Come Together. And Josh, to me, still is just the, he's the rocker dude. I'm not discrediting his talent. I love Josh, too. I just think that he's more rock-oriented for me, and that's not something that I would not buy. I still would buy a Josh record. And Chris, he did No One by Alicia Keys and Fly. And I like most of those songs. And so it gets, it's just getting really tough because you have people who can perform and deliver but deliver it, you know, with little error at this point. And that's basically what this show is about right now at the top. When you get to the top, it's going to be harder because you have different genres, you have diversity, and you have people who, when they come out and perform, they do a very good job of it. And I have to say, I'm still rooting for my favorite, so that's my bias. I'm going to put that out there. Melody and Chris, those are my favorites. And you know Marcus has been in the bottom two for like, Three or four episodes, so you knew he was going to be in the bottom this time. His his fans, his call base is just not there. So immediately in the elimination show, you already have Melanie through. Yay! You have Chris through. Yay to me, because I'm happy. Those are my two favorites. But everybody else on Twitter was blowing up. They were like, what? Why? 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 And I'm telling you, Chris has fans. Leave him alone. He just got fans. And I don't think everybody has bought into that soft story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The soft story is only enough to get, get you a couple of votes. But I think really they like what he does when he gets out on that stage. Um, now it's down between Josh and Marcus. On Twitter, everybody was like, goodbye, Marcus. Well, at least the ones that I follow were like, goodbye. Because, you know, Josh has never been in the bottom two. So there you go. And... If I had to choose personally between Josh and Marcus, I would probably choose Marcus too.
I just would. He's okay, but he's not going to win this competition. So after all of these, you know, performances and just different people coming on, um, we find out Marcus gets the boot. He gets the boot. I'm sorry, y'all. I think I see my hair sticking out, so it's bothering me. Um, Marcus gets the boot. Marcus is very humble. I have to give it to him. He's always fought. He's had nothing bad to say. He will be a PR agent's dream. He doesn't put all the negativity out there. We don't got time for it anyway. So he humbly accepts, you know, that he's got booed off. You know, he humbly accepts his elimination. And I just believe, like he said, this is not the last that you'll see of Marcus. Simple as that. So he bows out. Josh is still here. And so now we're down to the final three. We have Melanie, Chris, and Josh. All right? I don't know what's going to happen. I can't wait to see what happens next week. But... I am rooting for Melanie, and I'm rooting for Chris. And I, I'm sorry, all you Josh, Josh fans. I just he's just never been a favorite of mine, but I do respect him, so I, he deserves to be there. So X Factor top four. Now we're at the top three. Tell me what y'all think. Talk to you later. Bye.